What is going on? Welcome back to my channel, guys. It has been a long time since I uploaded. Before we get into this video, I'll give a breakdown of how this all came about. So last year, it was late last year. For some reason, me and Jay were making these photos and it was where we basically take photos of ourselves. When we were out, we take photos of each other and we just start editing them really weird. And I've got a few here on my phone that I can show you. Here's a few that we've done. <laughs> Jay edited that one. What on earth is that? <laughs> Okay, all right. We had an idea that why don't we actually just do this to you guys? Jay put up a tweet asking people to send in photos of themselves. There was a lot of photos that got sent in. There was a lot of photos and it was really hard to look through them and pick some because it was like every one you look at, you see a different opportunity for what you can mess up in the photo. So in this album here called A Disgrace, I have 12 photos right now. There are gonna be 20 photos that I'm going to mess up. I'm gonna jump straight in with the first photo and let's just get rolling and I'll show you guys basically how we make these dumb photos. That's better. Uh, ah! <laughs> ah! I'm sorry if you didn't send this in because I'm about to make you look like a leopard print Ferrari. You can start with just stretching someone out or minimizing things. Making things bigger is always funnier. Let's go in with the reshape tool. I'm going to start with forehead. We're just going to Bring this out, get a bit of height on there. I'm thinking to make him look a bit like a Dorito. There's just something really satisfying about seeing someone's head shaped like a Dorito. What you want to do is you... <laughs> uh... <laughs> it's not really fully Dorito because you can see there's like a bit of a curve over here. Make him a bit more triangular. That's looking more Dorito. Come on, like, that's perfect. That's great. Let's just sort them out a bit. You know what I'm going to do? Actually, I don't think he deserves eyebrows. So we're going to go onto the patch tool. Click on his eyebrows, take a patch of them, and replace them with this shadowed area that looks the same. Get rid of all them eyebrows. This is our Dorito friend. <laughs> And now we're gonna detail his face over like eight times. So what we do is just detail, detail again, detail out his face again. Oh my God, he doesn't even look like a real person anymore. And that one is complete. <laughs> As you can see, I get easily distracted, especially by the shine on this guy's forehead. It was time to make him look like a balloon. We went beyond a balloon, maybe more like a hot air balloon. We took this guy's teeth from Tic Tac to sunshine butter. And then we took him from a 10 to a someone help me, this nightmare is real. Think of a character that you know from a movie. In her case, it was Voldemort. A Voldemort who'd been gurning for a month and filled his forehead with cooking oil. This guy's dog is now an owl, and he went from going to the gym to I go into the gym and roll on my wrists. A quick perm, a quick forehead stretch, and we're complete. And our final subject, Mr. Longfinger, who we equipped with a beautiful smile and a lovely circumference of face to catch all the sunlight, with a swollen arm and a finger suitable for the top shelf in Ollivander's. Fast forward to tomorrow, and we'll see what Jay thinks of the photos. We are at Jay's house now. This is time for the reveal. So basically, I've spent some real time on these photos, I'm not gonna lie. We literally just finished recording Jay's half of his video and I can't explain to you how sore my throat is. My throat, never my lost stomach, so much. it just hurts. So I'll let you in on a little secret, guys. I did show Jay one of the photos because I just wanted him to have an idea of what it looked like. Okay, here's the first one. There you go, he's repping the, he's repping the childish hoodie though. Do you know what he looks like? Brian Reynolds, yeah, as Deadpool when he gets burnt alive. You know what he calls that? Looks like a testicle, bro. Sorry, man. Why does his head look like an anchor? You use people like him to stop a ship. Another lad repping the childish merch, yeah? Yeah. Oh, like, my, God, oh my God. Oh my God. Wait there, wait there. <laughs> <laughs> Nose. Look at his nose. Rob, <laughs> you're disrespectful for that, bro. Why does he look like Jay and his little brother? <laughs> no, show you what Jay has done to his wall in his office. Look at that. Put a golf ball sized hole in the wall. <laughs> I ripped 
my nail off and laughing that much, man. Bro, you can't show me photos like that, do you? But cheers, but, bro, watch. Doing this bounce? Yeah, he's doing this. <laughs> it's like you're in a neutral bullet. <laughs> Guys, my chair's broke, yeah? Bends to the right. It should only go backwards and forwards. <laughs> I'm done, bro. I'm done with this video. <laughs> she looks like a Botox Gina. <laughs> you can't do that to people's faces. That is bullshit, bro. You can't do that. The best ones you've ever done. I don't know how we're gonna top these in future videos. I know, right? Drop a comment if you want to see us do YouTuber ones, because that video will be so funny. Like, That'll be funny as we fuck. We can maybe put a twist on it, and we could do it drunk or something. You have to leave a comment. Let us know which ones are your favourites. I'm gonna be bringing regular videos. It's happening. Like we have the time to do it now. Please leave a like, because it actually means so much. And I will see you in the next video.